Hey everybody, it's Jason uh -huh. here, and today I thought I would end the month off with uh, a little bit of real talk. Probably some of the realest talk you guys are ever going to get from me. Because uh, people have asked me to address some of the crazy stuff going on. And I'm going to tell you guys why I am the most hated person in the industry. Oh, I thought I was out. These fall clearly under Texas self-defense laws. I'm not even going to get into property rights like castle law, which doesn't require self-defense, but purely self-defense. I've established a clear-cut case to local and federal law enforcement of stalking with intent to kill, maim, rape, etc. Essentially what I would need to prove to a grand jury in Texas is that if a person approached me in a hostile way or said something upon their approach that a reasonable person would think they were part of this stalking ring or inspired by it and that I or one of my loved ones was in immediate danger by their presence Jesus, you can use full stops, Jason then deadly force can be justified and the grand jury might have all charges dropped without a trial. BTW, I'm approached by fans frequently in public, well fans, when shopping, out for dinner, etc. Intelligent people know how to approach me and there are no problems. Take Cassidy for example though in comparison. He challenged me to challenges online that I have zero interest in taking part in. I made it very clear that I, <laughs> that I did not want him to be near me. He then drove four hours to confront me in a public setting he thought I might be in. The same public setting I received credible threats of violence taking place in. That alone could be considered confrontation and stalking of a public figure. He has also he has never met me, so we have no personal relationship. And this is purely an obsession with a public figure. He and his cameraman approached us in the parking lot with an object pointed at us, even the camera, at night. And I or my girlfriend drew down and fired. It would not be difficult to defend this. In fact, the police might not even press charges. He then proceeded to wait outside the door with a big clothes. And only those with an after hours car to lock the door can get in. Had we been at in inside, he just added criminal trespass to the list of crimes he was committing while doing the stalking. <laughs> so now he approaches us with an angry looking face while committing two felonies as an obvious steroid user <laughs> due to toxicology on his corpse. And while on private property, he has no legal right to be on. The gym owner can shoot him for that, by the way. My lawyer would probably be able to get any charges dropped there. You, you can't fuck around like that in Texas. This is a very strong self-defense and property defense state. And why so many supplement companies have, and individuals in the industry, have gone out of their way to spend money to create such a campaign of hatred against me. Um, a smear campaign to try to destroy any credibility that I have. Bring it. I will fucking end you. Legally. No laws broken. So... Let me get back in my place of zen. Why do they hate me so much? Because I'm the only person who tells you guys the truth. The truth is, supplements don't work. 